dates. Under achievements dressed up as chance would be a fine thing. A business card to stack in a drawer. A name, a number, the tiny shot to knock at the front door. Our little stabs at hope when the river runs black. A tumultuous refrain that jiggles every wave of your being in discourse with discord. We are hunks of meat set on rails paddling towards the mincer. Kidding ourselves on with books of God when every gluon, every electron, glaxon, wave or point shivers with indifference. Lost in the movement of another score way beyond. I say this in light parting as we glance shoulders after you kicked my feet from under me. I say this in joy. I laugh all the way down. and fits, not some slow, prolonged process, not the complete serenity or calmness. It comes in the immediate, instantaneous turmoil propagated by extremes. One cannot exist without the other, chaos or order. These fixed polarities stream through our daily lives like radio waves. Evolution takes the form of mutation, neurosis. Events transpire to push an organism to its limits and something vital is altered. This construct occurs at the macro level, to the micro, through and through. The dilemmas of cells, the trials of ants, and the universe itself. Periods of calm should be seen as recovery time. It takes a while to get over the trauma of genetic evolution and even at a psychological level, collective or otherwise, knowledge and insight is often earned through enduring climatic events. The death in a family to the psyche of various peoples post-World War II.
just this. To arm yourself with such knowledge. The universe is not rosy, not all positive, not loving or caring. It is arbitrary. It does not care because such concepts are banal to a whirlwind of energy, waves, whatever. The Higgs boson does not care for a universe full of love. Ah, but you are getting pissed at me. But this is because you're getting hung up on banal concepts such as love. And perhaps too much love in the multiverse would be a bad thing. Maybe it would have an inverse effect. Perhaps a placid, happy universe would be a regressive place inhabited by Lego people with the same fixed smile. Perhaps in such a universe the meaning of love itself would lose all power. Perhaps that type of love would be a bad thing. In essence, just a word to which you blink and nod your little yellow head. There again, I am unfairly picking on the abstract of love to which you cling. of the dead. 